Spark. Spark. Commander, if I may. I've been monitoring your communications with Starfleet Command, Captain. I'm aware of your engine design difficulties. I offer my services as science officer. With all due respect, Commander. If our exec has no objections. Of course not. I'm well aware of Mr. Spock's qualification. Mr. Chekhov, log Mr. Spock's Starfleet Commission reactivated. List him as science officer. Both effective immediately. Deidre has knowledge that spans this universe. And yet, with all its pure logic, Deidre is barren, cold, no mystery, no beauty. <laughs> Should have. No. No, no. What should you have known? It's asking questions. Is this all that I am? Is there nothing more? You are my superior officer. You are also my friend. I have been and always shall be yours. Don't grieve, Admiral. It is logical. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Or the one. death of Spark is like an open wound. It seems that I have left the noblest part of myself back there on that newborn planet. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few or the one. Spark. I have been and always shall be your friend. 
live long and prosper. No. Forgive me. It is not here. I had assumed he mind melded with you. It is the Vulcan way. When the body's end is near. We were separate. He couldn't touch me. I see. And everything that he was. Everything he knew is lost. Please wait. He would have found a way if there was that much at stake. Spock would have found a way. Yes. But how? What if he joined with someone else? This business about Spock and McCoy. Honestly, I never understood Vulcan mysticism. You don't have to believe. I'm not even sure that I believe. But if there's even a chance that Spock has an eternal soul, then it's my responsibility. Yours. As surely as if it were my very own. Prisoners have been coordinates. You should take the Vulcan too. No! But why? Because you wish it. I have been, and ever shall be, your friend. Yes. Yes, Spock. The ship. Out of danger. You saved the ship. You saved us all. Don't you remember? Jim. Your name is Jim. Yes. Now, may I present our new gunner. Spock. Welcome aboard, Captain. I thought I was going to die. Not possible. You were never alone. Please, Captain. Not in front of the Klingons. Is it possible that we two, you and I, have grown so old and so inflexible that we have outlived our usefulness? Would that constitute a joke? Don't crucify yourself. It wasn't your fault. I was responsible. For no actions but your own. That is not what you said at your trial. I was as captain of the ship. Human beings. But, Captain, we both know that I am not human. Spock, you want to know something? Everybody's human. I find that remark insulting. Come on, I'll eat you.